if I pretended that I didn't want to be president, I wouldn't be honest, and I would rather be honest with my people than otherwise. Aung San Suu Kyi has said quite openly and quite publicly that she would like to be president of, of uh, Myanmar. Uh, unfortunately, the constitution has a clause in it which says that a candidate, uh, a person cannot be a candidate if they have uh, relatives, children or a spouse who's a foreigner. She has been, and her party has been campaigning to have that uh, clause of the constitution changed, but that has not been supported by the subcommittee that was set up to look into possible changes to the constitution. If the main constitutional change that uh, the National League for Democracy and Aung San Suu Kyi want, which is the change to the eligibility for the, to be president, if that is not accepted and not endorsed by parliament, uh, I guess they will still support the other proposals, which are the main one is that the majority required for constitutional change should be ch uh, changed from, amended from uh, requiring 75% of the vote to only requiring a two thirds majority or even a simple majority, which is the normal uh, majority that you would expect in, in most democracies around the world. So that would bring their constitution more in line with other so-called democratic constitutions. I think if the NLD uh, is disappointed on one, they might still be happy enough to get the, the majority uh, clause amended. Um, the next thing they would have to do is simply concentrate on the election, which is uh, for which no date has been set, but it'll probably be the end of uh, 2015, um, because they've got they've got to win as many seats as they can. They've got to win a majority. They've got to win the right to become the major party, set up you know, running the government, and that's uh, quite a challenge. Uh, and then um, they would normally hope that they they would have a candidate for the presidency. Uh, and they would have to find somebody from within their own ranks if they win a sufficient number of seats to be in charge of the government. Aung San Suu Kyi is really you know, head and shoulders above all the other uh, leadership in the party. Um, they respect her, they uh, would not ever think of challenging her, her leadership, her position. Uh, she wouldn't necessarily want, have, want to step down completely as leader of the party. She could still be speaker or, or of one of the two houses of parliament, for example, um, which would give her certain status. Whether she would be satisfied with that, I don't know. Um, and she might not want to do that for five years. I mean, that's the term. Uh, maybe she would do it for a shorter period and that would be significant. Or there might be some way because there's been discussion of this, that she could legally separate herself from, from her son so that the, the legal connection between them is not as uh, restrictive uh, as, as it would be. And apparently this, has happened, this happens sometimes in Myanmar as, as it does in other Asian countries as well. So there, there could be more than one way around this, but I don't, I'm not sure that anybody's looking for always around it. I don't think Aung San Suu Kyi is. I think she's very firmly of the view that this is an undemocratic restriction uh, and it should be changed. Um, and of course they could always change it uh, in the second term of the parliament after 2015 in other words.